Do you utilize WordPress and want your users to upload a file within your website? Let me show you how. Hey Jotformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly and I'm currently in the desktop version of my dashboard. So for this, I'm gonna go up to the top left-hand corner. We're gonna choose to create a form and I'm gonna start from scratch for this one. We're gonna make it very, very basic. I'm gonna choose the classic form and I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this heading and I am going to drag in their full name and their email. Then down under basic elements, we're going to add in file upload. Perfect, so our form is ready to go. And one of the great things about utilizing WordPress is that we don't have to go up to publish and grab any type of embed code or any type of integrations. We can literally jump over to WordPress. So I'm gonna go there now. And one of the first things we need to ensure is that we have our JotForm plugin installed. So to do that, left-hand side, I'm gonna head to my plugins, then add new. I'm going to come right up here. I'm going to search for JotForm. And the one that we want is JotForm Online Forms, the drag and drop form builder, the top right one right over here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this one, install and activate. Perfect. So top left hand corner, we're going to head back to our plugins. Now that our plugin is installed, you get to choose where you want to embed this form, whether it's on a page or maybe in a blog post. So for this example, I'm going to go ahead and utilize a page. So I'm going to head to pages. We'll choose to add new. If you'd like, you can utilize a template. For this example, I'm gonna utilize the blank page and we can either do this two different ways. We can come up here to the top, click this plus sign here, or we can utilize this one right here. I'm gonna choose this one. Now, if classic editor isn't here, all we need to do is just search for classic. And once it loads, we can see the JotForm icon on the right-hand side. So I'm gonna click on this. Once you've authenticated, it is going to pull in all of your forms. So we can see that this first form right here is that file upload one. Go ahead and click continue. Now within this view, it is just going to be that embed code. You're not gonna be able to view it until you go to preview. So I'm gonna go up to the top right. We're gonna choose view on a desktop, preview in a new tab. And there is our file upload form within our WordPress site. And it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about utilizing the file upload option within forms with your WordPress site, let us know and I'll see you next time.